Oh no. Oh. Hey everybody, Kazmo here. I uh, just want to re-engage an earlier discussion. As you can see, I've uh, put on my little, I don't know what you call this thing, control input indicator maybe? I don't know. Um, some people asked that I put it on last time, and I, I totally forgot, so there it is. Um, hopefully it helps. Alright, so I'm just going to talk about some maneuvers, and um, what I really want you to think about is cyclic movement, okay? I think a lot of guys put in these real extreme cyclic movements with the aircraft, and they don't need to. You're not flying a jet. Not that you need to do that in a jet either, but I think sometimes we, we, uh, we put those inputs in because we, we're thinking like a jet, so... Um, Anyway, I'm still kind of playing with the flight director. Um, I know some people have have suggested it. I, you know, I, I, I'm still not feeling it, but uh, it could just be me. I'm a victim of my circumstances. Um, but hey, you know, if it works for you, then use it. Uh, I'm not telling you that this is how you fly the Black Shark. I don't know why all my stuff's in Russian again. That's weird. I don't speak Russian. Anyway, all right. Well, we're just gonna go fly around. So, um, but yeah, I'm still playing with the flight director. Uh, just, just not, not feeling it yet. I, I, I like my way. <laughs> it's just what I'm used to. But, but you do you. All right. Um, taking off. So I've had people talk to me about takeoffs. Um, I don't think they mean like how do you take off in a helicopter, but maybe uh, some techniques. So I definitely like to use the heading hold. Uh, to, to help me out. So what I like to do is is I'm clicking the trimmer button, the force trim interrupt as you know I call it. I kind of push it forward a little bit and release. Now I want that cyclic, I want some pressure forward because I want to fight that pressure aft when I'm picking it up. Alright, so let's see if I can't uh, dork this up. So I'm, I'm not interrupting the force trim, I'm not using the pedals, and I'm just fighting that that trim. I'm bringing in the power. Alright, so it just gives me some resistance to fight off of. Okay, so I've got my stick, my joystick, back a little ways, maybe a little bit too much. So it's just something you kind of feel out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and slide to the right so I can get past this light pole. And then we'll uh, we'll get on our way. Alright, put in a little bit of pedal. Oh, there's another pole. I didn't see that bad boy. Alright, we'll put in a little bit more pedal. And a little bit more cyclic to the right, just kind of sliding into a forward motion into the sun so I can't see. Perfect. Alright, and then once I get some forward motion then I kind of retrim it out and bring in power commensurate with the obstacles, which right now I have basically none. So we'll get set up and do some more decels. I know some uh, guys again uh, wanted to see the controls with the decels, so that hopefully that'll help you out. Alright, so while we get it set up for our decels, just things that you need to think about with, with really any aircraft, um, you know, it's altitude and airspeed. You, you can trade one for the other, and that's really what we're trying to do with a decel and a helicopter. So I think what guys are probably struggling with, um, just knowing this from conversations with other people, is this is what they're doing, right? They're cruising along at a high, you know, I'm not going too fast, but a high rate of speed and then something happens and they're trying to, to stop or slow down and they're ballooning up. All right, so if I just pull back on the cyclic right now, and you guys know this, the aircraft's going to climb. All right, I'm not touching the collective at all. All right, the aircraft's going to climb, but it's only going to climb for so long, right? Because look at my airspeed, it's starting to bleed off a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to level off. And again, we're just kind of we're leveling the bubble here on what we know. Same deal. If I take out some collective or I add some collective, I'm going to see an increase or decrease in altitude, right? So. Airspeed's getting up there, so I'm going to put in some collective, and it's causing the nose to come up, and the aircraft is starting to climb. Okay, so we have to work these two controls together, and that's really what the decel. I just love it because um, it's good helicopter stuff. If you can if you can pull it off well at low altitude, then I think it's going to keep you from getting in trouble. So. I'm interrupting the force trim, and I'm taking a lot of power out, okay, so look at my collective. I'm taking a lot of power out, so I'm losing altitude, but what am I doing? I'm pitching up, so I'm turning my airspeed into altitude, right, to, to almost counter that loss, 
Right, and I'm, I'm not doing as much because I want to come down. But all I'm doing is trading my airspeed. Look, my airspeed's bleeding off. Now I'm going to bring in a little bit of power because I'm getting close to the ground. I'll take a little bit out. And I'm just continuously modulating my collective inputs. Maintaining my heading with trim. I'm interrupting the force trim right now the whole time. Using my trimmer switch. And I'm just, I'm just figuring out the right spot to trade altitude for airspeed, airspeed for altitude, and bring the aircraft right where I want it to be. Okay, now I'm taking the trim, or releasing the trim button, and just kind of making minor corrections. Okay, so let's do that one more time. So I'll put in some pedal here. I never prop my gear up because I'm so busy jibber jabbering. Total noob. All right, I'm going to bring in the power, and it's the same deal, right? So I'm going to pitch forward so that my my velocity vector, if you will, my lift and my thrust is, is forward, more forward than, than up. All right, and now I'm going to take that power out, but I'm going to pitch up, trade my airspeed for altitude to offset that loss of altitude from lowering my collective. And I'm just paying attention to what's around me, okay, because I can't see what's in front of me based on how much I'm pitching the nose up. All right. All right, so let's talk about some other things that guys are doing with helicopters that, look, it's a video game. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> um, I'm not questioning how you do your things, but if you're interested in, quote-unquote, doing it right, um, there are some things that you should, should maybe try to avoid. Um, barrel rolls being one of them. Don't, uh, like, we just don't do that. Like, there's probably, you've seen a video of an Apache doing a barrel roll out there. Like, from what I understand, that was like a heavily modified Apache. Um, so it's probably not something that, that the average aircraft's going to be doing. It's certainly not in the limitations that I flew on. So, um, there's certain maneuvers that you're just not going to do. Alright, so let's talk about turns. So, this is what I think guys do. So, watch my cyclic input. Alright, so I'm pulling back pretty hard. You can't really tell on that thing. I, it's just the way that it's trimmed. But look at my airspeed. Alright, and I'm trying to fight to keep the air. Oh, God, I'm crash. Uh, keep the altitude up. Oh, that's perfect. But you can see the airspeed blood off quite a bit. Okay, that's not good. We don't want to lose airspeed because airspeed can be translated into, uh, into altitude. And of course, it can be used to just continue movement. But if I lose all my airspeed, I got I got nothing left. I'm gonna pull the guts out of the aircraft to try to get it back up to speed. So let me pull up again. I'm just pulling these tight turns. All right, and the aircraft's gonna want to fall. See how it's falling? I'm just losing airspeed. Okay, and if you're on the ground seeing that, it's not impressive. Okay, because I've I've barely moved. And somebody's just shooting you up. You're not really moving as much as you think you are. So what you really want to do is keep some forward cyclic. Um, you know, trim trim the aircraft as best you can to maintain your altitude. But all right, so let's take a look at our airspeed right now. So we're starting at about 245. All right, I'm trying to keep my airspeed up. I'm still turning. All right, but look at my airspeed, 243. I'm just bringing a little bit more power. Okay, but I'm, at, at some points I'm kind of moving the cyclic forward. All right, you see me kind of bumping it forward just a little bit. I'm maintaining my altitude for the most part. My airspeed is up. Okay, and now, okay, I'll watch that transient, but I, I'm still, I still got airspeed to be able to do what I need to do, right? And I can translate that airspeed very quickly into altitude. My altitude's coming up, my airspeed's coming down. And then I can easily translate it back. Probably too fast. K50 likes to just suddenly go Mach 2, and that's problematic. All right, the other thing that guys like to do is put in these massive pedal inputs. Um, you know, I've never flown an aircraft like the K50 with the uh, the countering uh, main rotor, so I'm not sure. But I can tell you, just in a regular aircraft with a tail rotor. You try to avoid that, especially at high airspeed. In fact, in the Kiowa, it was, uh, I think, rapid left pedal inputs above 90 knots may result in the tail rotor striking the tail boom. So certainly not something you want to have happen. But, you know, this I'm putting in full left pedal. This is just something that you don't normally normally do. Um, 
It's, it's just going to have effects on the, the trim of the aircraft. It is, it's going to have effects on the yaw. Um, it's just unrealistic. I mean, now I'm, now I'm flying backwards. Like, I just, I don't, I don't think this is a real thing. You know, this is like some James Bond stuff right here. Um, you know, now I'm, I'm basically stopped. I mean, I know it says 80, but that's like 30 knots. But, I mean, somebody's just shooting me right now. So unless you're putting on an air show, this is not like a real, quote-unquote, combat maneuver. All right, so I'm take that pedal back out. All right. So one of the big things that I suggest you do if if you're really trying to up your helicopter game, and again, I'm not a I'm not an instructor pilot, so I'm not uh, you know, I'm not explaining the science behind a lot of these things. But um, at the same time, DCS only kind of goes so far down the rabbit hole of the science. So don't get too hung up on it. Just understand, like we talked about, the the relationship between altitude and airspeed, your cyclic and your collective, and what they're doing for you. All right, so let's try it with the flight director now. This is, we're doing this live. Um, I've not really played with it, so let's just see what happens. I am not interrupting the force trim. And I got my airspeed picking up. Again, my target is to stay below the tops of the trees. All right, taking a bunch of power out. Not interrupting the force trim. Okay. Huh. Maybe I am a believer now. Maybe maybe this is the thing. Alrighty. Well, at any rate, I'm gonna continue to play with Flight Director. Um, I've had enough people tell me that it's that it's good. Again, you know, we're we're sort of victims of our experience. For me, like right now, I'm you know I'm just holding down the trimmer button while I'm doing any kind of maneuver because it's just what I'm used to. But, uh, in fact, let me, what does that do to the heading hold carrot? Okay. Okay. So it just resets it. All right. Well, that could be my new thing. I'm going to continue to practice with that. You guys continue to practice with your D cells and, um, you know, practice with those turns. They'll try to make those tight turns. You're not, you're not flying enough 16. You want to keep your airspeed up. Your airspeed gives you options. Okay, when you are at a high torque setting, no airspeed, low altitude, you're you're out of options. You got nothing. Um, so you want to keep either some airspeed or some altitude. And quite frankly, in DCS with a helicopter, altitude is not really your friend. So keep that airspeed up, and uh, keep sharing these videos. Hit like, subscribe, join the low level hell Discord. We got a community event coming up here in the next month. Major Huey operations in a commemoration of Apocalypse Now came out about what, was 41 years ago, I think. So August 15th, we're going to do that event. Anyway, I appreciate uh, everybody watching, and we'll talk to you guys later. Take care.